also, we, I got back from Montana, and Isaac, I'm going to take over the system up there. And uh, anyways, got back from Montana, and we had, uh, we had several special Sundays, and I thought, oh, I'm going to get together something to do. So today, I finally remembered to get something together. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I, we, I left with Missouri WMU. Now, for everyone who doesn't know, the Women's Missionary Union was started in the late 1800s when they decided every little church had the women organized usually to uh, do mission work, whether to support it somewhere else or to actually do hands-on stuff here in the local area. And uh, they decided to form a national body once they realized that just about all Southern Baptist churches and many other denominations had these local groups in there. And so it's gone through many changes in over 100 years. Uh, WMU started the Lottie Moon, Arm, uh, Lottie Moon Christmas offering for international missions. So we give to our international mission board every year. And if you grew up Southern Baptist, you've heard that name all your life. And then around Easter time, we honor a woman named Annie Armstrong with an Easter offering for missions right here in North America. And kids ask me all the time, is Mexico North American missions? No, they speak a different language, so that's a foreign country. Uh, why do we call it North American missions? Why don't we call it home missions anymore? Well, because Canada doesn't really count as a foreign country anymore. I mean, for Pete's sakes, you might, you might meet one officer at the border and then you go there and speak English and have pretty much the same culture. So anyways, uh, so this year, uh, Mon Missouri Baptists are partnering with Montana Baptists and our WMU here at the state level and many of you know that I work with them because uh, they handle the missions education for boys and girls and so I help with the boys with the Royal Ambassadors program statewide and uh, those of us on state staff we went to Montana to help Montana Southern Baptist women that's the name of their organization put on a conference we stopped at Waldrug in South Dakota. You just can't have a uh, you just can't have a, a mission trip without a little sightseeing, and we only had two days of mission trip basically, and a day and a half to get up there, and a day and a half to get back. So we did stop a little bit. Uh, one of my traveling buddies uh, was very anxious to get signs of all the states as we as we entered them. Uh, I told the youth group we had the conference on top of that mountain. They said that would be awesome. That would be, and I, th I agree, there should be something built up there, I think. Um, I love wildlife. On the way back, we saw some pronghorn, and, and we saw this coming. It was starting to look like Kansas again, and then all of a sudden, we drove down underground uh, into this deep valley, and there was mountains on both sides. It was like, oh, wow, I, didn't, I thought we were getting out of the mountains. And of course, when you see something, you know your little girls will like, like at a Sinclair gas station, you stop and you take a picture. And so they saw Daddy's dinosaur. Um, our little group uh, to the right is Abigail. She is the GA person, just like I am the RA person. She lives in the Hannibal area. She brought her 10-year-old daughter with her. And then Darlene Scott lives down at Freeman. And she, uh, if you remember, Cheryl Bell was the regional representative for WMU here in the West Central region, all over Kansas City and stuff like that. Darlene Scott has taken her place. And so I couldn't have had a better group of folks to travel with. And, uh, and for those of you who might be wondering, Travis, I thought you weren't alone with, with women. Well, there's more than one adult woman, and Darlene's old enough to be my mother, and I don't think she'd be uh, uh, above getting on to me if I really needed it. And so uh, she's, she's like a second mother to me now that we've had this trip together. So anyways, um, but we uh, got there. This was our team from Missouri. We all traveled in different ways. A couple of them flew. Uh, of course, we're leaving from all over the state, and so uh, we made as uh, we made tr travel arrangements together, and, and tried to bring as few vehicles. Found out that the Missouri Baptist Convention had vehicles for us to borrow for free, since it's a mission trip. So uh, that was a piece of information our staff did not know before that, uh, and we helped them put on this conference and. Think about how much less populated Montana is. I think it's just over a million people for the whole state. Maybe two. I could be wrong. I didn't look it up before this. And then it's not in the South. So Southern Baptists are far less represented. But this is set up for a statewide meeting of, Missouri, of Montana Southern Baptist women. And this is the conference we were helping with. And we set up our WMU table. I got my RA flag there. 
and, uh, and we tried to talk to them about all the stuff that is available to them with, uh, with Women's Missionary Union, all the clubs. We use those children's clubs on Wednesday nights, RAs and GAs, and I teach from Youth on Mission. So when we give, when we give, and Jerry reminded me today is actually Cooperative Program Sunday, so I'll go ahead and throw that in there too. When you give to the offering plate at our church, our church has designated 4% of that to go on to what we call the Cooperative Program. Now, what is the Cooperative Program? That simply means that our denomination, uh, instead of every single ministry our denomination does, showing up and saying, you need to support us, we're the children's home. You need to support us, we're the seminary. You need to support us, we are the foreign mission board or international mission board. You need to support us, we have a church planner just down the street uh, from you in Kansas City. We're the North American mission board. Instead of that, we give to one pot. And then if you are really bored on an afternoon, you could probably download the budget from the Southern Baptist Convention, see where all that uh, cooperative program money goes, but that's what's cooperative about it. It is one pot. It is one money pot. And so we fund our seminaries and we fund, um, the executive board and we have, we fund all of these, uh, the international mission board, the North American mission board, uh, out of those things. And so, uh, don't forget to give to our church, but remember when you give, you're also helping people around the world. And, uh, and then WMU also, uh, came up with the special offerings. We just got done with September, and we were doing the Reuben L. South Missouri Missions offering uh, to support a lot of what the Missouri Baptist Convention does. Missouri Baptist Convention also gets cooperative program money, and it's, it's, it's a handy way for a big denomination like ours. Maybe you didn't know. We are the biggest non-Catholic Christian denomination in the United States. We are on the decline, but we are still the biggest non-Catholic Christian denomination in the United States. Um, and so we are all across the country. This is how we organize. This is how we do that. So anyways, this is the outside of the church we were at. There is Pastor Stan at the door greeting people. He was such a blessing. And Rick Hedger was there in charge of Mount Montana, Missouri partnerships. And uh, Rick came to me and said, have you thought about getting a Montana partnership, a church to partner with? Maybe you can help them out with some things or, or bring a mission trip up here. And I said, yes, we actually voted back when the Montana uh, partnership started. We voted to find a partner church, but, you know, I won't say what I wanted to say. Uh, <laughs> you know, what do you think, Rick? And he goes, the church that we are meeting at right here does not yet have a partner church. And I thought, well, good grief. It can't possibly be that easy. I mean, I had high hopes to meet someone while I was there. Well, Pastor Sand's actually a really cool guy. So I want you to pray about partnering with Valley Baptist Church in Huntley, Montana, which is just outside of Billings. Uh, here's what the conference room looks like with all the people, all the women and, and, and a few men that were helping put it on. Uh, do the conference. Now, from National WMU was the woman who is in charge of ACT Teens and Youth on Mission and GAs. Her name is Heather Keller. She was there and she took what teen girls were there and they had an ACT Teens conference. They had a teenage girls conference and she organized them. And this is what's important about what we do with the youth on Wednesday night. And I'm not very good at it yet, but I'm working on it, is you're trying to train leaders Many youth groups in the world are just trying to entertain kids, and we want to do entertaining things. You might have been noticed we've been doing more entertaining things, um, and I need help with that. I'm not a very entertaining guy, as you can tell, because this has already gone on much longer than I meant for it to. But uh, she is really big, and I picked her brain on this while I was there, while I had her there. She's normally in Birmingham, Alabama. Picked her brain on, you know, I know you're always talking about getting kids to take the reins, these teenagers to take the reins. Tell me about that. Well... She got these girls to put on what they called a prayer experience while they were there. And it was a quiet room. And as you move from chair to chair to chair to chair, there is a prayer request that they are requesting you pray about while you're there. And she said, it's simple, but the girls themselves came up with it. And that's worth everything. And so I sat down at some of the spots. That's why you can see my feet in the picture. One of them said, pray for the safety and health of the people of Ukraine. A little Ukrainian flag there. Uh, pray Montana state offering reaches their goal. The other states are doing their state offerings during September as well. So we were talking about the Montana state offering while we were there. 
Uh, pray for missionaries' safety and for them to have resources. And pray for family and others who do not believe and know God. So some of them were very vague and some of them were more specific. But uh, anyway, so that's the kind of stuff we are striving to do on Wednesday nights with your little ones, with your bigger ones. And, and everyone's always asking, when are we going to do something? I, we like, we, we're okay with your sermons, Travis, but when are we going to do something? Well, WMU is an organization built around helping you do something. I think that's the simplest way to organize it. Now, if you'll bear with me for just one more moment. We've been talking about revitalization at this church and what can we do. Many, much of it falls on the building and the decoration and the repainting and everything. So I just had to show you Pastor Stan's men's room. Yes, the bathroom in Montana. And I tried to keep toilets out of the frame as much as possible because I know nobody wants to see that. But notice the rear view mirror below the thing. The whole thing is car uh, decorated. Can I get an Amen. Amen. License plates, Roadster, and uh, the Pistons toilet roll holder, toilet paper roll holder. Thought that was pretty cool. Someone actually spent some time with a welder on that. And, uh, and then, um, yeah, pay no attention to the high-pressure gas pipeline over the sit-down toilet. But anyways, uh, it was a lot of fun. I thought, man, you know, you, you really put a lot of thought into this. And, and so, I, like I said, I want you to pray about, uh, and of course, his wife was running around everywhere. She was the pastor's wife at the church hosting the Montana Southern Baptist Women's Conference for the whole state. A, a, one of the larger churches was there with all of their film and video equipment and sound equipment, you know, making sure it went online okay and everything. And I was coveting all the equipment that I saw there. I like equipment. So anyways.